Hello, in this video, we are solving for the value of x. To do this, we are going to apply one of the properties of indices, which states that if we have a exponent n times b exponent n, because they have the same exponent, it can be written as a times b all exponent n. So I'm going to use this property to simplify this expression. And so I'm going to get x minus 2 multiplied by x plus 3. And because they have the same exponents, this is exponent 5. And this is the same as now, because the exponent of this expression is 5, I'm going to simplify x plus 1 all exponent 10, such that it will also have an exponent of 5. So, x plus 1. Now, 10 can be written as 2 times 5. So, over here, x minus 2 multiplied by x plus 3 all exponent 5. Now, according to the properties of indices, if we have a exponent n, n is the same as a exponent n all exponent n. So I'm going to use this property to simplify x plus 1 exponent 2 times 5 which will give me x plus 1 squared everything exponent 5 so that both sides have exponent of 5. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the fifth root to both sides. So I'm going to take the fifth roots of this whole thing, which is x minus 2, x plus 3, everything exponent 5. Remember the fifth root. And this is equal to the fifth root of x plus 1. sorry, 5 squared. So, the 5 cancels this, and we are left with x minus 2, and then x plus 3. And this, for this, the 5 cancels that, so we are left with x plus 1 all squared. So now, we can decide to remove the parentheses. So we are just going to expand these two brackets. So this gives us x squared plus 3x minus 2x minus 6. And this is equal to x squared plus 2x plus 1. And so I'm going to group like terms. I will get x squared minus x squared plus 3x minus 2x minus other 2x, which is equal to 1 plus 6. And so we'll end up getting these two cancels out, and we are left with 3 x minus 2 x will give x x minus 2 x is negative x so negative x is equal to 7. now to find x we are going to divide both sides by negative 1 negative 1 and therefore x is equal to negative 7. So s is equal to negative 7 is the answer. Thank you for watching this video and please don't forget to like, 
this video, comment in the comment section and subscribe to this channel.